Welcome back to the channel everyone and today it's time to break down one of those bases that you guys have seen many times again in Legends League or even in War. So let's go ahead, break it down at Channel 13. All right, so we're going to talk about today how are we going to take this common base down. If you guys want to give me bases for me to break down in future videos, all you got to do is join my Discord channel, and then there is a channel called YouTube Bases right there in my Discord. You guys post the picture and the link there, and I will be sure to grab them and put them into future videos. This is one of the bases I had on my list that I had personally, so I'm going to be grabbing some of your guys's. I've made some notes on them, and I'll be pushing them into future videos, so make sure you guys go ahead and do that and join my Discord for that in future videos as well, and then I'll obviously shout you guys out. But I'm going to talk about how I'm going to break this base down with not only hogs, but also with miners. I'm going to also talk about the eagle activation because there is something that you guys might not know. Some of you guys that are hardcore clashers might know because of if you activate the eagle at a certain number of units, it will start firing down. But if you're under that limit, it won't be firing on your troops. So let me go ahead and jump into showing you an example. But if you want to see bases that are similar to this or the video series, this is the video series. This is the first one that I did. So this is technically now the second video that I'm going to go ahead and break down. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out the other one and I'll be sure to make more with your guys' suggestions from Discord. All right, so I wanted to talk about the Eagle activation limit, and this kind of will help you guys plan your attacks going into the future, especially with Queen Chargers or anything, maybe even a Sui Lala or anything like a Sui attack. You want to know that Eagle activation limit at level four Eagle artillery here for Tunnel 13. It takes 200 units, right? So that's either 200 archers, that is some heroes. So um, what I'm going to talk about is the King, the Queen, the Grand Warden, the Royal Champion. They all count t 25 spaces towards that Eagle. I'll talk about what that means. So just think about this right now. The King, Queen, Warden, and the Royal Champ all count 25. The regular Elixir spells count for 10 spaces. A one-unit spell, so the dark, the Freeze, which is Elixir, so the two-unit spells is counts as 10. And then the one unit spells counts as five for the space capacity and then the clan castle counts as the clan castle however much it doesn't even matter if you use this the uh stone slammer siege barracks or whatever because it holds up to what 45 now so that counts as 45 so what i'm talking about is this eagle so if i drop all of these archers here right so i'm going to just continue to drop them drop them drop them you'll see that the eagle is going to start to light up right so i'm dropping all of the archers here all in one spot the eagle is eventually going to light up right so there it is it lights up so it doesn't activate it doesn't fire but it just like it becomes aware right so i'm dropping all these archers i'm dropping them i'm dropping them it's still not going to activate until i drop that last archer which is 200 so right here so i have one more archer left see this eagle has not yet fired i drop one more archer it's gonna start firing right i drop this archer boom it starts to fire so the eagle activates at 200 so some of you guys don't know that most of you probably do know but hey if you guys don't know that's perfectly fine it is something that you do learn so the eagle activates at 200 spaces so which heroes count to 25 the like the baby dragon counts as 10 a balloon counts as five wizard counts as four they count as their normal camp spaces right and then a raid spell counts as 10 the freeze counts as five the poisons counts as five so if you start to add these up you'll know that the eagle won't activate if you stay under that limit right so now let me go ahead and talk about the actual attack on the base so you guys know what i mean so that the eagle doesn't start raining fire onto your queen all right, so here is the base that we're going to be talking about today. This is a very common base, right? You guys will see, sometimes you see single target inferno here. Sometimes you see multi-target inferno over there. But I would say the hardest one to attack if you're going to use hog riders is going to be the single target because if you're going to do a queen charge in this area, that's what makes it very difficult. So what I want to do here is I'm going to keep in mind how many camp space I'm going to try to stay under, right? So according to what I did, I can drop my queen which counts as 25 and then I can drop my king so that's 50 right now and the king counts as uh, 25 and then you start to drop your healers right that's five healers right and then I can also drop I know this is gonna be a lot but this is also this is the attack strategy that I would do so you drop a balloon and this area is usually littered with 
seeking air mines. So I dropped the king here, one, two, three. And what I like to do is drop hog riders for this, um, to go for that air defense. Otherwise what happens is the hog rider, or the air defense will start picking off my healers. Drop another balloon to try to push your way in. Drop a free spell for the uh, uh, single target inferno. Hopefully we can get to that queen and drop another balloon here. There is a Sam. So now we're gonna make our way for this. And so the key thing right here is I have not yet activated that eagle artillery. You wanna do your best to stay under that limit right there. So the poison doing a nice work. If I drop this next rage, it's going to activate it, right? So the queen, and I need to keep her alive right there. Oh, actually I didn't yet activate it there. If I drop this freeze, I believe that uh, will activate it. But what I wanna do is keep that queen's ability alive. So it's okay if this eagle does activate right here. I can drop like, let's say if I drop a wizard, once the mortar starts to get locked on the queen there, and okay, so the eagle has still yet not activated. That's really good here. So the queen is walking all the way around the base. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a siege barracks over here. And now the eagle will pretty much activate once I drop these hogs. The thing is, I do not want that. Uh, let's see, so we drop a wizard here and we are gonna move our way around, drop a balloon here. I think there's a Sam in this area. All right, so I'm gonna drop the hogs like this from the top side, Grand Warden and the Royal Champion. And the wizards are making their way around. So I got the queen, I'll pop her ability. We'll go ahead and drop a heal spell right into the core. We got about a minute left here in the attack. We got a freeze and another heal as well. And then we can pop this Grand War Internal Tome right about now through oh, through the eagle shots. And let's see, we're gonna have to pop the heal spell going down here. And then we have hogs coming on the top side over there. Let's go ahead and drop a freeze spell right on that scatter. Let's go ahead and drop a balloon, baby dragon right here onto this. We drop some wizards all the way on the top side around. And there we go. So. The big thing, I think, let's see if we can take this down. The bomb tower there's a little bit annoying. Let's see if the bomb tower is going to cause anything. But the big thing is keeping that queen alive. You want to keep that queen alive no matter what. Let's go ahead and drop some wall breakers over here to break this queen in into the core of this base. We can pop that royal champ. I know we lost a bunch of the um, hog riders. I think we technically lost all the hog riders there. But... You want to keep that queen alive as you're moving through the base. So right there, that is how you take him down with the hogs. This is the exact kind of army composition that I would take in Legends League. And I know there was a Lava Hound Ice Golem in it, so I was able to pull the Hound with those hogs actually going into that air defense. But if you guys can keep in mind not activating the Eagle, that is huge so that the queen doesn't take any uh, shots on her. Now let's go ahead, put like a dragon and a witch in that CC, see how it changes it. All right, so I'm going to attack this base again here. I'm going to drop the queen all the way up at 12 as well. And now this time it's got a dragon and a double witch inside of here. So let's go ahead and drop a balloon here for a seeking air mine. And we're going to go ahead and drop the healers onto the queen right here. Try to keep her out of range of all that. And we're going to go drop a rage right here on the healers and the queen. And then we're going to drop three hogs onto this wizard tower. We're going to wait for the king ability, not just yet, and we'll pop it now. And pulls a giant bomb. We're going to go ahead and drop a balloon moving into here. We'll pull potentially a seeking air mine. There we go. And queen stepping up. Let's see, I pull out the dragon and the witch as well. Drop a rage. Drop a balloon here. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I'm going to have to drop this. I'm going to drop a freeze onto this area. Let's go and drop a baby dragon as well. Ooh, so I did not drop. I'm going to pop Queen Ability. This is really bad because I didn't drop the healer, the rage spell far, far enough uh, behind onto the uh, uh, Queen. So now the actual Eagle Artillery is now raining fire onto my Queen. And that is not good, right? You don't want that. So I'm going to drop the Siege Barracks. Hopefully it can actually take some fire off of... Oh, no, don't surrender. <laughs> take some fire off of that Queen here. And let's see, the Rage up healers are moving their way through. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop the hogs now because I don't want to lose the healers. I think the healers are going to switch off to the hog riders, if I'm not mistaken here. Let's see. Nope, they stay on the queen. That's good. So we're going to go ahead and drop a heal spell leading into the core for those hog riders. And we'll get some wizards down here. And we'll go ahead and get the uh, warden ability through that next scatter shot like that. So we're going to have them moving their way through. And we got the queen's about to go down. Let's go ahead and drop a heal for the hogs into this scatter shot right here. And let's see where these they go. So we got this moving through like that. We're going to go ahead and drop a uh, wizard down here on the bomb tower. A minion right here. 
Royal Champ's got her ability, which will pop. The hogs get hit. Let's drop a minion right here. And let's see if it's enough here. So you can see the little the little differences, right? This time I actually was able to keep the hogs alive. But the big thing is, is it gonna be enough to okay, the wizard tower does go down. So it was a lot harder in that attack because I had the force that clean ability. I made a mistake with the raid spell. I didn't drop it as far deep into on my healers to keep her alive, which caused me and forced me to pop that queen ability right here. But it's still going to be enough. This time I actually have hogs alive here. So a little bit different kind of push into the base. But you really want to work on trying to keep that queen ability intact so you don't have to use it in the very beginning. But there you, there you go again. It did work with the hogs charging from that angle uh, with two different CCs now. All right, now let's hit this base again here. But this time I have miners instead of hogs. So I'm going to try to see if I'm going to do the exact same thing here. So I'm going to drop the queen up top here at 12 o'clock. And you're going to need hog riders again to go for that air defense, right? So I'm going to go ahead and drop the king, drop some balloons in this area to pull Seeking Air Mine. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop the healers onto the queen. And then we're going to need to drop that raid spell a little further deeper into the base. Drop that balloon for, the, for that. Pull some uh, uh, traps. Go ahead and pop that king ability right there. So we ended up, we're able to successfully pull that in. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and drop a freeze right here in this section. I'm gonna drop a rage like this. Hopefully the hogs can take down. Oh, okay, perfect. We do end up surviving that. We pull out a, one of the witches maybe, I think. No, we do actually pull out both of them. So now, okay, so this is looking pretty good here. Take out the royal champ. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the poison spell onto here. So queen's gonna make her way through. And then we take care of the witches, so the hogs Jumping from the air defense into further in the base works out really well. We're going to keep dropping balloons around the edge here because this area, wherever the queen is here, is littered with seeking air mines. So we're going to go ahead and drop another rage here. We have yet to deploy or activate that eagle artillery. We're going to drop another balloon. All right, so the eagle is activated. We don't want the eagle to hit our uh, and kill our healers here. So we're going to freeze it, drop the P.E.K.K.A. down here. We lose some health of that. We're going to drop a wizard and then... Okay, perfect. So now the uh, eagle is not activate. Oh, we lose one. Now we're going to drop the miners, Borden, and then the royal champ. All right, so queen is still up with her ability, which is very important. The big thing is you do not want to lose that. Um... Oh, let's see what's happening here. So we have the royal champ's going to pop her ability here. We have to pop the uh, warden ability just like this through the town hall. We have the miners moving through the core. And let's see where they're going. We have the hogs coming in on the right side. Miners are going in over there. We're going to drop another heal for these miners. Drop some wizards here. And we're going to drop, let's say, a wall break right here. And see if that's going to uh, help stop something. So we're going to drop wall breakers into here. Let's see. These miners are making their way through. Wall break does get the queen into this bottom section here. But we do lose a lot of the uh, miners from, from the top. So I'm trying to keep that queen alive. Her ability does go off. We got miners coming around, so it's not too much here, but the queen staying alive is pretty clutch here. Let's see, now we're gonna have to make our way through a bomb tower. 30 seconds left. Queen only has two more healers on her. Let's see, the minion's not gonna do much, so it's literally just the minion. So, in this attack, I do think hogs are stronger because the reason why is because the hogs will be able to tank for the miners, right? Or not for the miners, for that royal champion. See, the queen goes down here. That's why I would suggest going with the hog riders rather than the miners in this case, because if there are ground skeletons, then the miners will get stalled up. But if we hit it again and we try with a wall wrecker to tank the whole time for the miners, it might be better. All right, so we're gonna continue again. So we'll kind of uh, get through this next part here. So you guys already know to uh, drop the queen in the core or the corner here and then we drop a balloon so it looks like this area is completely littered with seeking air mines let's see if we can pull another one over there okay we do and we drop the healers onto the queen and then we drop rage and we drop another balloon so this is all about um this is all about keeping again that air defense keeping the queen alive and not having that pull or activate pretty much taking out any of the healers. We need to keep all the healers alive as much as possible. We pull out the CC perfectly right there. We take care of the single targets and the dragon and the witch 
they get pulled over to our queen. So we're going to drop a poison right here. And we... I don't think I can drop a wizard over there in the corner. So if I switch this to a wall wrecker now, I can't move the stuff until uh, the, we take care and address it. So the queen's moving her way around. If I drop this balloon, I'm worried that I might activate the uh, eagle. Let's see. Hopefully I don't. I think I will. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I will actually activate the eagle if I drop that rage. Yeah. That rage is going to activate it. I'm going to freeze the uh, eagle artillery because I do not want the eagle to lock onto my healers, which still might just happen. Nope. They it switched targets, locked onto the uh, queen now. So wall wrecker's going in. I want the wall wrecker to get just a little bit further into the base. Now we're going to go and drop the miners, the warden, and the royal champion. So now we're moving our way in. Wall Wrecker's tanking quite a bit here for the miners as we push our way through the core. I'm going to go ahead and drop a heal right into here. Queen's moving around. So let's see, was that Wall Wrecker the difference maker right there in the attack? So we're going to pop. Oh, I'm trying to get the uh, Warden. There we go. Pop the Warden ability for the miners. And so it looks like that Wall Wrecker was a lot better here. We go ahead and drop some Wall Breakers down here. More Wall Breakers. And then we're going to go drop. Uh, we don't need the heal just yet. We can drop a minion up there. Let's see where we want to drop this heal spell. Let's go ahead and drop the heal spell over this area right here. And minions working on the top side. Miners are kind of helping coming around. So that is a way better thing. We'll drop pop the royal champion ability. So you see the small differences. It makes a huge difference, I guess. Small difference. Small changes makes a huge difference. All these miners are still up because... And I still have the queen ability, right? Because I decided to take the wall wrecker, what happened in that other attack with the miners was I didn't have the tanking. The royal champion got hit right away because the miners were underground, and that worked out really well because the wall wrecker did a wonderful job at tanking for the miners to go into the core on this base right here. The small differences. And that's going to wrap up today's video. I know it's just the one base, but if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you guys let me know. But also, I do a lot of legend attacks, which hits multiple bases. Probably there's some of the videos that are like 40 minutes long. Make sure you guys go check those out. And I hit like 10 to 12 different bases there in Legends League. So those are the, those are the videos for you to check out. But this is a little bit different, something different for you guys. So you know how to three-star this base again. I really support the queen charges nowadays because it's really strong but i know you guys like the yetis and and those type of attacks if you guys find success with them let me know as well but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you guys go and hit that like button subscribe down below for the daily content and i hope you guys have a wonderful day carbon finn signing out peace